In her 25-year coaching career at Shadel Park High School, Linda Sheridan had more than 800 career wins, 17 GSL titles, 32 state qualifying teams, and 7 state championships in volleyball and basketball. She told the young women she coached, take risks, trust each other, and don't be afraid to fail. The very first day, I was, when I was 22 years old and I walked into my first coaching job about a sport that I knew nothing about, volleyball, at the time in California. And these little 8th graders came in, like I said, and they looked at me and they had these, you know, I was introduced, this is your coach, and they looked at me with these great big eyes and I just went, oh my God, this is the most serious thing that could ever possibly happen to me. And I was so overwhelmed by the responsibility of that moment that it just never left me and it was the best thing that ever happened to me as a coach because I was so clear that they were in my hands for better or for worse and there they were with just these little shining seventh and eighth grade faces and I thought how could I do anything that would, would that would hurt them and so I was, somewhere in that I scared myself so badly that like I said the things the only things I ever regret really are the times when Maybe I did say something or I did let that position of coach become not something that I used to benefit somebody else. I think it really has to do with, again, being a, a person of character and integrity. And I, I remember when I was a kid and we used to talk about our leaders, our political leaders, as public servants. And now we call them politicians. And somewhere in there, I think we have lost the quality of great people coming um, from a place of true, honest character uh, in themselves and integrity, and then bringing that to the populace rather than um, their political office um, controlling too much, it being too much about them. And so I... I you know, my hope is that what we could find is people that are really coming from a place of really wanting to serve, back to really wanting to serve the best interests of the people that they represent, uh, whether that be local or on a national level or on a world level. Well, I think what I got was any time you're in a position of leadership, you have two choices, and one is to empower and to serve, or the other is to use power over to control. And I've seen coaches do it both ways. I think we all have, uh, teachers, leaders, whatever. You know, it's, it's the nature of leadership. You can use that to benefit the people you're working with and to, or to, and to serve them and to empower them to be more complete in their own beings. Or you can use, it's about, it becomes about you and your position and your ego and whatever, and you can use that to really, and in particular in the case of kids, say things that are never forgotten. You know, and I, I'd like to say that I missed doing that, and I didn't. I mean, there are times, there, the few times I regret in my career was when I forgot about for just a second and said something that the second it came out of my mouth, I just knew that's one of those things that kid will probably never forget. And you can't pull it back. You know, um, so I took, I take that very seriously. I always did take it very seriously. And when I talk to the young people that are now coaching that were coached by me, the thing I constantly want them to remember is the power of their position and that you have to use it well. You have to use the power of your leadership well. <laughs>